Hey, Synthheads. Today, we're going to talk about why hardware. Hi, I'm Pierre Ambia Drone, and this is my channel where I talk about synthesizers. I demo them, I do reviews of them, and I do electronic music and some other things every now and then. Hey, do me a favor if you haven't already done so. Hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and gives me encouragement to continue this. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so hardware. I'm not saying hardware versus virtual instruments because you know what? I actually used to do my music with nothing but virtual instruments. It is my humble opinion that hardware synthesizers being ran via electricity have a motion about them that is not static and I feel that the virtual instruments have a static feel to them as you perform them. And I don't mean like, you know, filter cut off and modulations because you can add all of that. But I used to be a computer programmer and I used to make video games professionally. And one thing I know about computers is that they're kind of static. They're ones and zeros. They're on, they're off, they're off, they're on. And what I like about hardware is the electricity is flowing through it and you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you have a pretty good idea, but there's sometimes when I record something and I go, wow, what's that sound? I didn't notice that before and I wasn't trying for that sound. That's a quirk and it sounds great. And I think that that's the electrical factor. Well, yeah, computers have electricity running through them as well, but it's not the same thing. Hardware is designed to use the electric flow of the electricity to create the sounds. I've noticed a great improvement of my sound quality uh, in my tracks and the depth of my music using hardware. Maybe it's because I use hardware better than virtual instruments. That could be the whole thing right there. Maybe I just don't get the concept of virtual instruments. Perhaps this is how I work better. I don't know. I've seen some people and heard some people do some amazing thing with virtual instruments and they wow me. And I could never do those things. So I do believe that there is something that I'm missing in the virtual instrument world that I'm just not picking up at or on. What I'm trying to get at is, is that with the hardware, for me, the workflow creates better uh, depth, better flow. And to my ears, I'm enjoying it more. The other thing about hardware is that it becomes sort of like a piece of you as you get to know it. There's sort of like a friendship, sort of like a camaraderie, if you will. As you use these machines, um, you learn what they like and what they don't like. You learn tricks. Uh, you know them in a way that, dare I say, is intimate, if you will. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of hardware in this room. It's because I have a sound palette that I like to achieve with my tracks. And if you were to look at all of the instruments that I have here, you would see that they all have a different character about them that allows me to achieve something different, sort of like a painter's uh, palette. You just dip your brush in it and you paint a stroke and you mix this and you mix that. And before you know it, you got yourself a track that's uniquely yours. And I took a long time in building this hardware studio because I had a particular sound that I wanted to be able to create with my music. And I'm pretty sure at this point I am done buying hardware until the next best thing comes out. Hey, I'm Pure Ambient Drone. Thanks for listening to me rattle on. <coughs> Cheers.